Hey class, welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to be talking about parallel and perpendicular lines and a couple of rules about triangles. So getting started, we have the parallel postulate, which says through a point not on a line, there is exactly one line parallel to the given line. So visually what that looks like is if I have some line, we'll call it L, and some point P not on that line, there's only one possible line that I can draw that's through the point P and parallel to L. And it would look something like this. So that's what the parallel postulate says. Similarly, we have the perpendicular postulate, which says through a point not on a line, there is exactly one line perpendicular to the given line. So again, diagram what that looks like if I have line L and a point P not on the line L, then there's only one line I can draw through P that's perpendicular to L. And in this case, it looks something like that and we'll make our little perpendicular mark to show that it's 90 degrees that it's perpendicular all right um next theorem we have a triangle angle sum theorem sometimes i'll just say triangle sum theorem but that word angle is kind of hidden in there all right um so this one says that the sum of the measures of an angle in a triangle is 180 degrees and it's always 180 degrees. No matter what shape or size the triangle is, if you have a triangle, the angles inside of the triangle are going to be 180 degrees when you add them all together. So for example, if I have angle A, B, and C inside of a triangle, then I know that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C is going to equal 180 degrees no matter what. So we can use this triangle sum theorem to make equations uh, when solving for variables. All right, and last theorem here is the triangle exterior angle theorem. This one's kind of like a little shortcut, which is nice. So this one says that the measure of an exterior angle in a triangle is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. So let's look at a diagram to figure out exactly what those words mean. If I have, let's just draw a triangle here. All right, here's my triangle. And then an exterior angle is an angle that we get when we extend one of the sides of the triangle. So here I've extended this bottom side of the triangle and that angle on the outside um, that's adjacent to the interior angle is going to be our exterior angle. So let's just name this angle a and B, C, and D. All right, so we want to show that the measure of the exterior angle A is equal to the sum of the remote interior angles. Now what remote means, if you think about like a remote piece of land or an island, it's separated from the other pieces of land. So if we want the remote interior angles, we need the two interior angles that are separated from the exterior angle. So we're going to ignore D, angle D, and C and B are going to be our remote interior angles. So this is gonna be measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C. And so it's a quick little shortcut. You'll see later how we can use that. All right, so let's just do a couple examples here. We have example A, we're going to find the value of each variable, and I have three variables here. So um, we can actually start with any of these, but let's start with X. In X, if we ignore the other triangle, we already have two of the angles. So if I use my triangle sum theorem, and I can write that here, triangle sum theorem, just abbreviating a little bit, it says that the measures of the angles inside of A triangle all add up to 180. So I can make an equation, 46 plus 32 plus x has to equal 180. And then I can do some, some little calculations here. Let me grab my calculator. And then we can solve for x. So let's take 46 and add it to 32 
and I get 78. All right, and then let's subtract 78 from 180. 180, oops, <laughs> let's put my marker down first. 180 minus 78 is going to be 102 degrees. So here I know that X is 102 degrees. All right, so now let's solve for Y and Z. Now we can do these a few different ways. Um, well, let me show you a couple different things we can do with this. We can use linear pair theorem and solve for y using x. Um, but you know what? Even though we can do that and just subtract um, 102 from 180 to get y, what if we made a mistake with x? You know, if we made a mistake with x and then we use it to get y, y will be wrong. So what we really want to do, if we can, is to only use the information we're given for each variable. So let's solve for y using just what we're given. We're actually going to use the exterior angle theorem. Exterior angle theorem here, our triangle exterior angle theorem. All right, so now that means that the measure, or the exterior angle, which will be y, is equal to the remote interior angle. So we want to go into the other triangle that y isn't in and use those two. So 46 plus 32. There's the sum of those remote interior angles. So now if I add those together, y is going to be 78 degrees, which is what I would have gotten the other way. But this way, I didn't have to use one of my calculated um, variables to solve for y. All right, and then last one, um, we can use triangle sum theorem again. to solve for z, and let's see, um, if I don't want to use x and y, let's just ignore x and y, and we're going to use, let me show you, we're going to use these three angles. We're actually going to combine 32 and 36 to make a whole angle there, so that would be 68 degrees total in that angle. So let's use that. So 46 plus 68 plus Z is going to be 180. Again, there's other ways you could have solved for Z. We could have used X or Y, but this way, if I made a mistake with X and Y, I don't have to worry about that ruining my value for Z. So I'm, I'm avoiding that possible error by doing it this way. All right, so let's add these together. 46 plus 68, it's going to give me 114, plus Z is 180, all right, and then let's subtract that from 180, and I get 66, so Z is going to be 66 degrees. All right, and we've solved for all three variables in that example. All right, coming back up to example B, so let me just... Draw a little divider here. All right, example B. So now this one is really using that exterior angle theorem that we learned above. So let's just go back. Triangle exterior angle theorem, remember, means that when we have an exterior angle, it's going to equal the sum of the remote interior angles. So triangle exterior angle theorem, little abbreviations there, and let's set up our equation. 5x plus 25 is our exterior angle. That's going to equal the sum of the remote interior angle, so 80 plus 45. All right, so let's do a little bit of calculations. 80 plus 45 is going to give me 125. So 5x plus 25 equals 125. Let's subtract 25 from both sides. 5x is 100. So x is going to be 20 degrees. All right, and we solved for our variables using a few of the theorems we learned today. And that concludes our lesson. So thank you for watching, and remember, math is fundamental.